Hello, welcome to another video. Now, if you've seen the last video, you might have seen that we've got plans to leave this country and leave this van by selling it, but not yet. So I'm not going to stop buying stuff for this van. And I've bought something and I want to show you. Can you tell what it is yet? External jerry can mount. I've been wanting this for ages. I don't know why I haven't bought one until now, but yeah, today this is going on the back of the van. It's going to look sick. I've also finally got my CCTV sort of system, basic setup system working. So that'd be cool. I'll definitely show you um, that, but it's just nice to be able to flick it on when you're not in the van. And also if the dog's by himself for a little bit, to see what he's up to, which apparently is getting on the bed the very second we leave the van. I knew he was doing it, but the video's just confirmed it because every time I get back to the van, he's always like, oh, stretching, getting out of his own bed, which is on the sofa, acting like he's not done anything. But yeah, I've got video evidence now. So yeah, but I'll show you that later. First, get a coffee, then let's crack on with a jerry can mount. Ah, lovely. If you've not got a chipped mug, you don't live in a van. Actually, whilst we're here as well, another little thing that has um, made a difference, actually, is this 12 volt uh, computer fan. And I've just wired it, um, extended the cable in, put it on a 12 volt uh, sort of cigarette style socket, which is here. If you can see that here. It's not the tidiest, I've not put any sheaving over the cable, but turn that on. That does a really good job of just circulating air around the van. So, very cheap and way more effective than any USB fan I've, I've had. Uh, but yeah, you usually turn that around so it's blowing on the bed at night. But it's just nice to get a bit of air circulating around the van, um, you know, pushing air out the skylight or bringing air in. Um, but yeah, nice little gadget. I hope you can hear me. Obviously, because I want to do something to the van today, it's probably going to be really noisy and intermittently pissed down, but we'll see what we can do. Where I'm thinking of having it is here because this door, you don't have to sort of slam it to shut the back doors. The size, I'm thinking like that sort of thing. What I've got to do though is make sure it's secure. Because if you've got like a 25 litre jerry can bouncing about on the back of the van, just bolting it to the skin of the van is not going to be enough. Like, got some bolts like that and I've got some washers to spread the load on the fixing point and then also some locking nuts. Now locking nuts have a sort of nylon insert in them which is designed to stop vibrations and movement making them come loose. So I'm hoping that they're going to be adequate for the job. What I also got as well is I went to uh, B&Q and there's always like a off cuts bin where you know, the offcuts of what people have wanted is put in there. Found this, and I think this is going to go on the inside of the door as a sort of brace to spread the load. Um, but more, way, more than enough, as you can see, but um, that's going to help keep the jerry can holder stable. You know, it's not going to be tearing on the back of the van. Um, so, yeah, I think that's going to do the job. All in all, that cost me about three quid just for the bolts. And that's, this was obviously free. So, let's see how it goes. I need to see what's behind the skin of this van because 
I can't remember. So first job is going to be to get this cladding off. Right, this is what we've got. Put the uh, thermal bubble wrap layer off. We've got a cavity under there which we've stuffed with this sort of loft wool insulation. Um, so this is the area that I would need access to. Because these fixing points are quite central, I think what I'm going to do is cut, cut probably a little square here which will give me access to be able to fix the jerry can holder. It's just this flap here, so I'm going to cut that off. So there you are, cut that section out. Uh, that was it. That was it there. So cut that out, be able to get the fixing points through there with the wood over the top so it's all accessible, can do it up nice. Um, and this, the, I, I love reusing bits and bobs, so I'm thinking, um, spray this black and then just have it on the front, I don't know, just as a little, as a little, little guard or something, I'm not sure, I have to uh, smooth down the edges and that. Yeah, um, so far so good. One thing I've messed up on a little bit is drilling it too high. We've got this sort of like ridge. Um, obviously I want to brace it with wood, but it's, it's going to be hard to get that up there without it sort of like slanting. What I'm going to do is, I think the braces are going to go this way, like that. But it's not ideal that it's plywood anyway, but I'm going to just take the corner off that so it goes flush to that. <laughs> Right, this is where we're at. Um, got the bolts through, got this 80mm ply on there, it's fitting flush now. Uh, the only thing I've got to do is take off a probably a centimetre and a half of these bolts because they, um, they protrude past the length of where the cladding will go. So I'm just going to take them to about there. Um, then fix the jerrycan mount, put the uh, washers and anti-locking uh, nuts on um, and yeah, we're good to go. You know what, might not be perfect but sometimes you've just got to work with the tools you've got, that's what van life's all about for me, um, for people who probably think, oh I might have done that differently but um, just, just work with what you've got. I'm going to put a bit of hammer out uh, where them holes have been drilled just so stop any corrosion or anything like that. But yeah, get this cut down, get the jerry can holder on and then uh, probably have to go and get a jerry can. Let's see how it looks. Right, got it on. This is sort of like a bracket for how far, how what size jerry can you've got in. But uh, got to re-insulate that, strap this back up. Um, and yeah, just given the bolts a bit of a spray as well, black uh, paint just to give them a layer of protection. Um, stop stop the uh, them corroding too quickly. Finished it, finished it. It's the next day. Uh, yesterday you saw me doing all the uh, prep work for uh, all this. Uh, just got too late, couldn't bother to film anymore. But the most important thing is it's on. And I think it actually looks pretty decent. Like, I'm quite happy with it. What I've done as well, I mean, it's not perfect by any means, but what I've done is uh, this scrap bit of metal that I've cut off the inside of the door, I've put it on the front of it. So that looks all right. And people were asking um, when I was thinking about doing it on Instagram, why, if it's going to be 
Buddy, chill out. So I've got the dog um, ready to go for a walk. People are asking, are you going to fill it uh, with a diesel jerry can or a water jerry can? Literally, um, it depends on it on what is most important for you because at the minute, summertime, I'm um, not doing a lot of driving, the diesel heat is not on, so water. Carrying, carrying more water is always a bonus. Like, it's probably more advantageous than carrying diesel most of the time in Europe, depending where you are. If you're really far out in the sticks, then yeah, maybe uh, diesel, but water. But I'm quite uh, happy with how it's turned out. I wanted a standard like MOD military um, jerry can, which I'm used to seeing loads of at the time in the army. Funnily enough, couldn't seem to get one. So I got a normal one, cleared one, spray painted it black but i kind of by accident built a little hand wash station so give the hands a little rinse or fill up or whatever uh i think that's pretty cool obviously i'm going to get a cover for that and i'm a little bit paranoid someone might come to the van and just decide to open that tap and let it all out but i'm pretty happy with it overall so yeah Nice little uh, addition to the van, gives it a bit of an overlanding 4x4 look. Today is a proper good day because I've swapped Lazza for like the best camera girl ever. Like, she's actually doing an amazing job, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, hey! <laughs> Always pleased to be on camera with her yeah. uncle. Right. Dog's there. Got this little basher going up as well. Um, just testing that out. Could do with some temp poles to go um, and prop it up, but it's okay. Dog's ready for a walk. You're ready for a walk. Let's go for a walk. Right, ignore all the mess, just had food, the bedding is in the laundrette, it needs putting on, this is normal, this is what real life is, it can't always be perfect backdrop, everything's squeaky clean, just had tea, clean the pots in a bit, but yeah, I said I was going to talk to you about the uh, 12 volt um, CCTV camera, this is, well, this is it. It's from, from uh, Tapo TP Link. Basically, you get this camera. Um, it's about 20, 20 odd quid from Argos or any normal retailer, or whatever. But it comes with a household plug. And obviously, you need that plug into your inverter to run all the time. And you don't want to have that because, well, I don't anyway, because my inverter is really inefficient. But looking on the actual plug and what it does, it takes in the house supply, converts it to like 9 volts DC. Anyway, looked on the internet, found a 12 volt to uh, 9 volt DC adapter. This plugs into your cigarette port. It, I didn't even have to do any cabling or any terminating because the end of this adapter is the same end as what goes into the camera. So it's literally plug in that, like plug it into your cigarette port, uses literally no power whatsoever, uh, and it's motion uh, activated. So you download the app on the phone and um, it comes up on your phone that there's uh, most like some sort of it's detecting something in the van. You can tune in as well whenever you want, play sounds, record, whatever. But yeah, a little, a little hack for you there if you're thinking about getting a CCTV camera, the TP Link one, and then just go on eBay. It's about seven quid for this um, 12 volt to 9 volt adapter. But yeah, that's working really well. So I'm glad I showed you that. And also, the night vision on it is really good. So, cheap bit of kit with a bit of security. Right, that's going to be it, folks. As you can see, I've tried my luck in this spot and got a uh, tried out this little new shelter that I've bought. Um, can't believe I actually had to buy it being in the army. I don't know why didn't keep my original but hey ho well yeah it's not often really set up like this in the public areas just drawing too much attention to yourself but here it's um 
quite private at the minute. Not busy at all. Not yet, anyway. But yeah, hope you've enjoyed it. Doing a few things to the van, a few new gadgets, and uh, see you next time. Let's go, bud. Let's go.